Good morning. As you know, last week, uh, Steve Jobs, our CEO, had to step down as president of Apple because of health concerns. Frankly, I think it's time we talk about the future leadership of this company. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but isn't he going to be back in a couple days? Like, we're playing golf on Friday. Well, Johnson, these things can be tricky. Health concerns can snowball quickly, but I think you're missing the larger picture here. And uh, what might that larger picture be? Apple stock has gone down whenever a negative report about Mr. Jobs' health is announced, whether they're substantiated or not. The issue here is you. Mark Zuckerberg was only 19 when he started Facebook, probably the most popular and profitable website of all time. Apple needs to be revamped. We need a, a Zuckerberg on our team. Excuse me, Mr. Oppenheimer, but are you suggesting we replace Steve, Steve Jobs as CEO of this company with some college student? The creator of our company. The reason why you and I both have jobs. Our fearless leader. I mean, I, I will not go along with this. To be blunt, I think this is... Hear me out, all right? Think about it. Who are our main consumer? Little Asian girls. <clears throat> Who are the people out there making crappy music with GarageBand, huh? Emo white kids. <laughs> Who's cropping their ugly friends out of their group photos with Photoshop? And just who in the hell is playing Angry Birds? Young people, using our products, that's who. Now I've found someone who I know is going to connect with our target demographic, young people. Charlie, you can bring him in now. Everyone, let's make him feel welcome. Come on, give him a big round of applause. Yeah. I give you Mr. Daniel Hertz, the new head of Apple. Yeah. Are you flipping kidding me? No, I'm not flipping kidding you, you jerk. This is the future. We need someone unbridled from those strengths of close-minded thinking. Someone who isn't afraid to come up with innovative ideas. Someone whose latest accomplishment includes being potty trained? Honestly, this is your worst idea ever. I second that, sir. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Charlene, cookies and milk for Mr. Hertz, please. Now? Yes, now. Go. You're the senior advisor on the board, directly under Mr. Hertz and myself. That means you answer to him as well as me. Now, I know Mr. Hertz has the best interest of this company at heart. Why can't you see that? Picking his nose! Well, he can run around this office butt naked if he wants to. He's your boss now, and you will treat him as such. Do I make myself clear? Why? That's a boy. I don't. Charlie, come in here, please. Is there something wrong? No, everything is perfect. Take him to the daycare center. I'm the boy now. That was hot. 